Hi, this is Christopher Boucher, and I'm going to review a contingency table probability example. <clears throat> okay, we'll get started. Okay, so to start with, okay, so we have this table here, and on the left, or uh, essentially representing the rows, are uh, our region areas so north east south I don't have west but I just wanted to keep it to three so north east south and they go across and then the vertical um, uh, columns are are the types of vehicle choices so truck sedan hatchback and then total if you go and add up all of the north it ends up being the total um, on this far column all of the east is this total figure and then down at the bottom corner it's the uh, grand total of all of them and both the total going across this direction horizontally ends up equaling 325 and then vertically uh, going down it ends up equaling 325 so that's our grand total okay so we'll start if you select one individual from the table above, what is the probability one will have a truck, live in the east region, live in the south region, or have a hatchback, live in the north region and have a truck, live, um, have a sedan given they live in the east region? Okay. So, has a truck. So, this first uh, two questions are more getting um, familiar with the table. So, has a truck. So if we add up all the ones that have a truck, we have a total of 60 people that have a truck. So it would be 60 over 325. And if we work that out, it ends up being approximately 0 0.846. And then live in the east. Well, we add up all of the east and we get 90 and then that's going to be 90 over as our numerator and then over the denominator of 325. And we could reduce that and leave it as a fraction or we work it out and leave it as a, uh, put it into a percentage type of format or um, a better kind of probability appearance. Um, and it ends up being point, uh, 2796, 2769. Um, then live in the south region or have a hatchback. Okay. So now it's getting a little bit more complicated, but contingency tables are pretty good for this type of problem. So we have to find everybody that lives in the south. So we go across and it's 100. So it's going to be 100 over 325. And because it's an or, we're going to use addition and then uh, have a hatchback. So the hatchback is a vertical here. So it's so 125 over 325. Make sure I'm on the screen. Over 325. And then here's the rub on this one. We are not looking for the person that is in the south that has a hatchback we're looking for one or the other and if we don't take out that overlap we'll end up counting that overlap um, twice so we have to take it out and then it will only be counted once which, which is more appropriate when you think about it so the live in the south and have a hatchback south hatchback it's 25 so it's 25 over 325. Well, our answer is um, 200 over 325 because this, the, if we just look at these numerators, the denominator is all the same. So we would have 225, then we subtract 25. So we end up getting 200 over 325. And then when we work that, we could reduce it more and leave it like that. Or um, what I have worked out here is 6153, 
which is about 61.53%. Okay. So the next one, live in the north region and have a truck. So in this case, where with the or, we're looking at the columns and rows. In this one, we're looking at the overlap specifically between those columns and rows. So live in the north and have a truck. So north, well, it goes all the way across, and have a truck. So the, the overlap's right here. That's 25. So it's going to be 25 over 325. That makes it easy, doesn't it? 25, 325. And we could reduce that down, but I have it uh, calculated out as a decimal. And we end up with 0 0.0769. So when it's and in the contingency table, we're finding the exact overlap. And when it's or, we're finding the columns and rows. So for the last one, given. Now, whenever it is the term given is used, it means we have a restricted uh, sample space or a restricted um, selection set. And in this case, it's always after the word given. So in this case, the east region. The total for the east region is going to be our denominator on this one. So east. And that is 90. And so we have 90. So making sure I'm on the page here. So our denominator is 90. And then we go back and we say have a sedan. So the people who have a sedan, let's see, east, people who have a sedan are 20. So it's 20 within the 90. So it's our 20 is our numerator, our denominator is 90. And if we work that out, it ends up being 2, 2, 2, 2, or about 22.22%. Okay, so that's how to use contingency tables. So the big thing is, remember, with OR, we're looking at the columns and rows and take away the middle. Otherwise, it's double counted. And then with AND, we look at the specific overlap and we use the total. And then with given, we have a restricted sample set, and we um, we use the, in this case, the restricted uh, sample set of the East region total as our denominator and our sedan um, factor within that East region as our numerator. And then um, we end up getting 22.22%. Thank you for watching.